this is a materials recovery facility, or MRF, to you and I. It is a place where your mixed dry recyclables, the things that you put in your recycling bin to be collected every week, are sorted, recovered and then sent for reprocessing. The MRF of Bidston sorts out cardboard, paper, glass bottles and jars, steel cans and aluminium cans and plastic bottles. The facility goes to work by sorting and separating the recyclable items through a system of conveyor belts, sorting screens, magnetic separators and specialist recognition equipment and even a hand sorting section where the material is extracted manually. The MRF follows 11 specific stages. Stage 1. The waste materials are brought to the facility in lorries. Stage 2. The materials are fed onto a conveyor. Stage 3. Train staff remove items by hand. That's brown cardboard and any stuff that can't be sent for reprocessing. Stage 4. Materials are fed through the V-screen, which is the first mechanical sort. This machine recognises 2D or flat and 3D or whole items. The 2D material, like paper, goes up and over the top of the V. All the other materials are travelled down the middle of the V. Stage 5. On the 2D line, two conveyors separate high-grade paper and mixed paper products from the V-screen. Paper travels through an optical sorting machine that uses jets of air to further clean contamination from the paper stream. Stage 6. All paper has a final check for contamination in the post-sort cabin, and then the paper is loaded loose into large vehicles to be taken to the paper mill. Stage 7. This is the 3D cabin. Waste materials such as glass bottles, cans and catalogues come here from the V-screen and trained staff remove any remaining large items like the yellow pages. Stage 8. All the materials go through into a glass breaker. The glass bottles are broken into small pieces, then dropped through a sieve. A conveyor takes the broken glass into a large skip. The other materials are unaffected by the glass breaker, so they can carry on to the next stage. Stage 9. The remaining items, the steel cans, aluminium cans and plastic bottles, continue on the conveyor for further sorting. Steel cans are removed using a magnet, then they are compacted, that's squashed together into bales. An eddy current separator, which is basically a reverse magnet, removes aluminium cans and they are compacted and baled. Stage 10. Plastic bottles are pierced and then flattened by the machine, checked for contamination by hand and then compacted into bales. Stage 11. All of the bale cans, cardboard, paper and plastic are sorted ready for transportation to local reprocessors. These are all taken to local companies who use the materials to create brand new products. Glass is recycled to produce fiberglass products and aggregates. Paper and pamphlets are recycled to produce newsprint. Steel cans are recycled to produce other steel products and aluminium is recycled to produce more aluminium cans. Plastic bottles are recycled to produce many products including boardwalks, fencing, more plastic bottles and cardboard is recycled to produce, you guessed it, new cardboard. When we buy things made from recycled materials, we are saving natural resources and energy. So overall, a good process resulting in a good end result.